Suddenly, SCP-3199 jumped right at one of the personnel. Is that Shy Guy? They barely had time to react before it escaped from... They put... <laughs> They put Shy Guy head on a chicken and said, boom, SCP-3199. What? I'd be damned if I let something like that throw hands with me, all right? You're not even going to get a chance. You seen the way it walked out? Hold on, hold on. Look, 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 look. Time to react. <laughs> In the corridor, they fired off enough rounds to blow a chunk out of its chest. 3199 let out the most awful scream. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Keter Class Object SCP-3199. <laughs> uh, appreciate the follow, bro. SCP-3199, also known as... <laughs> bro, what's up? Bro, you not about to look... Okay, see, this is one of those instances where I gotta look up what it looked like. SCP-3199. I gotta see what it looks like, like actual art. SCP-3199. Yo, they did ass! They're serious! Oh my god! No! Yo, they, they, yo they're yo, dead ass with that design! Yo, that's literally spot on! What you doing if you see that? Because I'm not doing a damn thing. I'm I'm going home, I'm walking out, or, or you know, something, bro. We gotta have some procedure for that, because what is that? Dude. Dude. Okay. 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 Human is a sentient humanoid species of a currently unknown biological origin, though tissue samples suggest traces of domestic chicken and chimpanzee DNA. 3199 is hairless, stained with a thin layer of al- You said SCP fans here talk, what, talk careful? Bro, I am not disrespecting SCP. In fact, I love SCPs, but I'm just calling it how I see it. If a SCP look dumb, funny, it's it's I'm gonna I'm gonna call it out. I mean I'm still gonna enjoy it for what it is. You know if I see that John I'm gonna be scared, but that don't mean if I see it like these I'm gonna say it's acceptable because it literally looks like a head ass. My guy. Album in and stand at an average of 2.9 meters. A matured 3199 weighs around 780 kilograms, and a hatchling weighs at 360. Ah! A hatchling, a hatchling. Yo, what, what is these? Bro, they look like two fetuses. You know how, like, people be coming out as, like, like, like... No, 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 let me not get toxic. But look. Okay, let me just continue. Kilograms. Just continue. The necks of 3199 appear dislocated and are capable of twisting approximately 340... Look, look, the same way, the same way he turned his head this way, I'm gonna slap it back the other way. Because you're not doing that to me, dog. Degrees. Damn. He said that neck game strong. Presumably <laughs> due to the nature of 3199's reproductive cycle. SCP <laughs> Bro, <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My man said, <laughs> don't leave me, don't leave me. Cycle. SCP-3199 is an opportunistic hunter, engaging with live subjects within a radius of 0.6 kilometers surrounding hatchlings that have not yet reached full adolescence. Bro. Its average speed oh my god! Oh my god! Per hour. Upon contact with human or animal subjects, 3199 will kill them, liquefying their internal organs and bone structure. The cadaver is then given to the young and utilized as a form of nourishment. Instances of 3199 have been observed producing large eggs of an off-white coloration and rubbery appearance. <laughs> the These run. eggs will pass through its stomach, esophagus, and eventually extract via the mouth, followed by a highly corrossive red substance. SCP-3199 shows extreme distress Ew. throughout the entire process, with SCP Bro, what in the world? describing the sound as not dissimilar to a scream, presumably due to a biological... <laughs> Bro, my boy just hit the Drake dance. Left foot up, right foot slide. Due to a ingrained method of avoiding extinction, SCP-3199 will always produce its eggs to fill all available space. That's disgusting, this anomalous bro. This property currently has no known limit, and as a result, may pose an LK class species transmutation scenario. Termination of 3199 can be performed. Why you look like cozy? Okay. However, a complete eradication okay. is currently difficult, 
as all instances of 3199, regardless of age, will always carry one egg inside their stomach to ensure survival for at Bro. least one member of their species at all times. The eggs from 3199 have proven to be extremely resilient. Experiments shows the egg sample lacking visible signs of damage after subjection to extreme blunt force trauma, extensive pressure exceeding 180,000 PSI, high precision blades, and even long-term acid exposure. Use of point-blank explosives was suggested, but never tested, because heat exposure has been determined to accelerate hatch rates, oh, nah. and thus detonation may run the risk of a containment breach. You said this Area 51? Yeah. During the intense These are uh, Area 51 secret tapes. Heat exposure experiment, an egg sample from 3199 was secured in a containment cell that gradually increased its temperature at an average rate of 7 degrees Celsius per minute. You said check the Discord, bro. Alright, I'm about to check it. After approximately 9 minutes, the egg ruptured violently and produced a single hatchling. On-site personnel reacted swiftly, trying to recontain the newborn instance. However, the excessive internal temperature impacted the physical growth of the young instance and it reached adolescence at an accelerated rate of 40 seconds. Oh my God. As a result, it produced two further instances of 3199. On-site security- Bro, what am I watching all right now, dude? All were detained. All future heat testing involving 3199 egg samples- Stamp. Been forbidden Stamp. until further notice. Stamp. In the liquid nitrogen bath experiment, an egg sample was submerged entirely in liquid nitrogen. After approximately 45 minutes of exposure, SCP-3199 had reached negative 190 degrees Celsius. Following two hours of exposure, the egg sample was removed and placed under extreme pressure. As a result, hydraulic press peaked at pressures of around 9,000 PSI. Cracks appeared 30 minutes into exposure before the sample shattered. Egg fragments were collected and furthermore pressed into a fine pulp. Zero traces of albumin or yolk were located. Incineration of these remains proved successful at destroying the egg in its entirety. SCP-3199 was discovered in Ireland after reports of an unidentified bald creature crying like a banshee from within a dense woodland resulted in the dispatching of MTF Omega-19. MTF Omega-19 arrived around 2100 hours. They were told that if they could not catch 3199, the next best thing would be snapping a frame or two. Then the Foundation hooked them up with the best night vision hardware. An hour later, they found a shack made from scrap metal and wood. It looked a lot like an oversized chicken coop. The team then entered the shack. Suddenly, SCP-3199 jumped in. What you doing in this situation? Like I'm pulling out a rocket launcher and we all going to Kingdom Come, I promise you, dog. Right at one of the Like I'm going like the Grenade! What the fuck are you talking about? They barely had time to react before it escaped from the corridor. They fired off enough rounds to blow a chunk out of its chest. Damn. 3199 let out the most awful scream. Unfortunately, two personnel lost their lives during the action. Their internal organs and jaws were almost entirely dissolved. During transportation back to Site 114, 3199 produced two more offspring, resulting in the deaths of another. Oh my God! On 2017, the Foundation did a thorough sweep of 3199's initial recovery location. It was performed to uncover up, any further information regarding their origin. Locals claimed that the small remote residence in question has been established in the woods for several years. Surface Team D-029 managed to recover several items of interest, including one bag of assorted thread and needles, three chicken feather quills, 13 chicken carcasses with precise incisions located on the underbelly, neck, and thigh. Unbelievably, six of the carcasses had been plucked. That's what we call some exclusive exotic meat, okay? You go to gourmet restaurants, you pay in 499 with visible human teeth marks lining the bare areas seemingly at random. Who, who, who taking a slice of some 3199? Anybody? All right, I'm weird. The team also recovered several containers, including water bottles and Tupperware boxes, holding an unidentified watery. Bro, those are the most tastiest chicken tenders you ever gonna taste in your life. Sheesh. Throw some fondue sauce on, I'm weird, okay. Paste, 
the paste is deep brown in color, and when exposed to oxygen, it becomes viscous and hard. An A5 notebook, heavily scratched with human fingernails, was also found amongst the stuffs. The words, open when we are pure, are written on the Give front me two of the pieces. notebook. <laughs> the notebook itself consisted of 24 pages of standard lined paper written in non-anomalous black ink. 19 of these pages consisted of various cuboid patterns and crude, childlike illustrations vaguely resembling SCP-3199. On the remaining five pages, large lines of writing detail the diary of an unnamed individual. Most of what was written was found totally illegible. However, one extract dated in 1973 was written with notably higher clarity, and quote, if you're reading this, then lucky you. One millionth hour from not and it'll be fun. And the wonderful versatility of inferior human DNA will give birth to a new era, a stronger era, one where and food and water <laughs> will be nothing but things of the past as we make and make and make more for the better future i really haven't much time that's why i envy you so you'll have all the time you need time will be on and on and death will be life new life changes lives and brings smiles like a freshness new life will be a part of life from now on the final page consisted of several ink blots 13 instances of the word life in various sizes and two instances of the words, didn't you want this? SCP-3199 was... What you looking at? ...issued Keter classification on June 10th of 2017, <laughs> following the events of a containment breach. After the breaching incident, SCP-3199's original water containment method was disassembled and replaced with the current resin solution. Besides, Protocol 34-22-B, poached, will be carried out during the event of a breach. The following steps are the procedure of this protocol. On-site personnel with Level 1 security clearance or above initiate standard lockdown procedure and immediately move to Site 113, unless instructed otherwise. Site 114 is to be filled entirely with distilled water, treated with Class A sedatives. Then, Surface Team Tango 306-A will be notified and dispatched and instructed <laughs> to retrieve any instances of SCP-3199's eggs. Any living instances of 3199 will be terminated on site Damn! and the remaining eggs will be collected. All egg samples are to be transported to temporary off-site containment. Site 114 will then be drained and janitorial staff dispatched to thoroughly clean the area. Any personnel attempting to breach Site 114 before this inspection hey. is complete will be apprehended and suspended accordingly. Some personnel have displayed skepticism regarding the necessity of this protocol. However, Dr. Watt believes that fluid is an excellent counter to 3199's anomalous reproductive properties. It appears to enter an inert state in the presence of liquid, regardless of thickness or clarity. There are two theories regarding this occurrence. First, SCP-3199's need for survival demands all of its attention to focus on not drowning. Second, SCP-3199 considers the liquid around it as full space, and as a result does not produce any egg when submerged. Before we end this video, we are proud to present these incredibly sweet pieces of fan art. A big thank you Ooh, to all this of you. Oh, this be Congo Dummy!